Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome to another Morales video. Arhat and Ruffle are both popular frameworks for smart contract development. They are both based on JavaScript and they have a lot of functionalities. When you're developing your smart contracts, you are always going to go through this workflow. First, develop your smart contracts on a high level language such as Solidity. Test out your code because you don't want to mess up having bugs or security breaches on your smart contracts. Then you deploy them into a live network. You will probably start on the testnets such as Cefolia and Goerli, and then go to a live net such as Ethereum. And finally, you will connect that deployed smart contracts to your DAP. And both Hardhat and Truffle can help you with that because they are compatible with a lot of EVM compatible blockchains. These are 10 of the most popular DeFi protocols out there. And as you can see here, Hardhat is pretty popular, having just Truffle on the number six. And then we have another one such as Brownie and DAP tool. Does it mean that Hardhat is better than Truffle? Well, I don't think so. Here you have a really boring table, but you know what? Let's forget this. Today, we are going to put these frameworks into a versus. So keep watching because we are just getting started. What's up, YouTube? My name is Vasily, your Web3 instructor from Latin America, Ecuador. I've been building on the space since 2020 with cool crypto projects. In my free time, I really enjoy singing and playing the guitar. And if the time is good, I like to go out and take some meditations. But enough about me. Let's go back to the video and start building. To install both frameworks is a really straightforward process. You can just use npm to install both Truffle and Hardhat, and this process shouldn't take that much. So, as they are easy to install, they are going to get one point each. To start a new project with Truffle, you can use Truffle init. This is going to create all the basic configuration and folders you will need to start deploying your smart contracts. For Hardhat, the process is kind of the same. You can use mpx Hardhat, and this is going to create a configuration same as Truffle but with one addition. Hardhat provides you the ability to select the type of project you want. You can select between JavaScript, TypeScript, and a simple Hardhat configuration file. However, Ruffle gives you better documentation on the config file, so it's going to be two points each. Arhat has a boilerplate project to deploy a simple ERC20 token, and it provides both the smart contracts and the frontend. But the handicap is you will have to manually clone the GitHub repo in order for this to work. In the other hand, Truffle is the absolute winner on this regard. They have a lot of boilerplate projects called boxes on which you are going to have demos for a lot of context direct compatibility with different chains, React projects, and the list goes on and on. So this is going to be one point for Truffle. Even though Truffle has its boxes, they don't have any plugins you can add to your workflow. In other hand, Hardhat has a lot of plugins you can add to make your life as a smart contract developer easier. They even have a plugin to make the contracts compatible with the Truffle ones. And the list goes on and on. You can find a lot of plugins which is going to be usable on any context you will need. So this point goes definitely to Hardhat. On Hardhat, once you have your smart contract ready, you will need a deployment script on which you have to create a contract factory and then using that factory, you are going to deploy your smart contract. You can deploy using Hardhat run and this is going to automatically deploy the contract and you will have the output based on the console.log. This is possible because Hardhat comes with a internal blockchain which gets automatically run when you start the deployment script. In the other hand, Truffle makes things a little bit trickier because you will have to manually install Ganache, configure the network inside of Truffle config, and then you are going to be able to deploy. Or you can use the Truffle develop console and make the migration there. However, as Truffle makes the process more heavier, 
and with extra steps, this point goes to hard hat. This point is also going to go to hardhat, even though both frameworks has powerful tools to make testing in conditions, as Truffle compiles the contracts each time you want to test them out, it makes the process a little bit slower. Actually, running 9 tests on hardhat against just one in Truffle, hardhat completed the task almost 6 times faster than Truffle. So, nothing to do here, Harhat is the winner on this point. On Harhat, we need to add the network to the configuration file, providing the RPC client, the private key for the account, and also the chain ID. Once we have them all, we can run the deployment script, selecting the network, and we are going to have a response as we did before, but this time if we take the address and paste it on either scan, we are going to find that the contract is actually deployed on this live network. In Truffle the process is almost the same, but in addition, if we want to use a mnemonic phrase instead of just using a private key, we can add that. So there is another extra point for Truffle on this regard. Besides that, the configuration is almost the same, we need to add a provider, the chain ID and the gas limit, and when we are deploying we can deploy all the migration scripts at once or just select a specific ones. In addition, when we are deploying to a live network using Truffle, we are going to get more information about what's happening on the blockchain out of the box. So there is another extra point for Truffle. And same as we did on Hardhat, we can take the deployed smart contract address, paste it on a block explorer like Etherscan, and check the contract is actually deployed on this live network. To interact with any smart contract from the frontend, we always need three things. A signer, which comes from the wallet, the contract ABI and the contract address. On this example project for NFTs, we are using the Moralis endpoint get contracts by NFT connected to a local JavaScript server. Both Harhat and Crawford provide us a way to send that information to a different folder, the frontend folder, changing some settings on the configuration file. For Harhat is the artifacts path and for Truffle is the contracts path. This point is going to go to Harhat though, because when we send that information, as you can see, Harhat provides us a better organized way to see the contracts, because it separates them all on different folders, besides Truffle, which just put all the compiled JSON files on the same one. However, neither of two sends over the contract address. So, if we want to add that functionality, we might need to use a different approach on the deployment scripts, sending that information as a JSON to the frontend folder. Nevertheless, once the contract is deployed and we have that information on the frontend, we can interact with the smart contract and start executing its functions. And that was it for today's Versus. At the end, Arhat wants with just one point. Does it mean that it's the best framework for smart contract development? Well, not really. All depends on your use case scenario. If you want to have fast projects, go with Truffle. You're going to have a lot of boxes and boilerplates you can take and start building right away. If you want to have complex plugins and add complex functionality to your application, go with Harhat. Remember that at the end, the tool is not the most important part but the programmer is. Even the simplest tool could be the best on the current hands. What actually matters is how you're going to get the information out of the blockchain. And for that, you need the best API on the market, which of course is Morales. We provide APIs for NFTs, tokens, balances, transactions, events, and a lot more. Also, you can have access to real-time notifications on the events happening on the blockchain. You can start your journey going now 
to moralis.io, create your free account, and here on your admin panel, you are going to have your free API key. This API key is really good for small projects or testing purposes. But if you're working with a big NFT collection or marketplace, step up your blockchain game with Moralis Pro. With twice the computing power and more requests, you can handle even the most demanding projects. Plus, enjoy unlimited daily records on your streams with automatic retries for a seamless experience. And with more replays and longer retention for your historic streams, you'll never miss a beat. Don't settle for basic, upgrade to Moralis Pro today and take your projects to the next level. Thanks for watching till the end, and I hope to see you on the next occasion. See ya!